So before this video gets too far ahead, I just want to let you guys know I do have a link in the description below where you guys can actually buy plush that I've won from arcade games and a bunch of other places from claw machines and everything else. They also come with an autograph card, so go down, check out the link description below. What's poppin' y'all? Hope y'all doing great, doing fantastic, all that good stuff. So we're heading out to the house. What am I doing? I'm gonna go on this side. Anyways, we're heading out of the house. to take a couple things out of the car. We're going to a place called Aurora, Ohio. Hope you guys ever heard of it. But as I was leaving, Dad gave me a fun fact about Aurora, Ohio. Aurora, Aurora, Ohio. Yeah, I think I said it right. SeaWorld used to be there. What the? I'm like, what? Why would SeaWorld be there? He's like, I don't know. It was, but it was there. So, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to the Aurora SeaWorld way back in the day. I guess it's closed down now. He said, I don't know what the hell happened, but they closed it down. Anyways, got to take a couple of this stuff out of here. The lights, this big wall, and uh, then get on the road and make our way there. It's a two-hour freaking drive, so not looking forward to it. But, yeah, I thought that was kind of a fun fact. SeaWorld was in Ohio at one point. What? Or maybe one of them. There's probably was always multiple. Anyways, yeah. Let me know if you knew that. All right, y'all. We freaking made it here. We're right there at Tommy Hilfiger. That's where we're DJing at today. It's like a shopping center mall thing. There's like a bunch of little stores all over this place. So I say little, but they're all like big name brands. But that's what we're doing today. We're DJing at Tommy Hilfiger. We're DJing today and tomorrow. So let's make our way in. Get everything unloaded go set up all right we're all set up we got this t-shirt it says tommy jeans and it has a little logo on right there on a sleeve it's tommy hilfiger but all set up good to go they gave me another shirt also it's inside on my book bag in there next to all my stuff but yeah we're good to go i'm here tomorrow as well so they gave me two shirts i got this one like i said and the other one i like the other one a lot better than this one i'm not a huge fan of like this blue color and stuff like that but i don't think it looks bad looks all right but the other one i like it a lot better all in all though um i thought about going and getting something to drink because i have it's uh what time is it right now it's like 12 15 and uh I don't have to start until one o'clock. So I have almost 45 minutes to do whatever the heck I want. All in all though, it should still be a pretty good time. I like DJing at actual malls better than outlet malls because outlet malls, it's like hit or miss. You don't know if people's gonna be coming in and out and whatnot and things. But, because normally I find it, like when people go to outlet malls, they don't normally come to like shop at every single mall or every single store because it's such a big parking lot. Like this place is huge. Like it's a huge parking lot here. And then there's a bunch more over there that you guys can't see all the way up that way. Um, so it's like kind of like a two part area. And I don't really find it that people will come to these kind of areas to like just hang out or to walk around or whatever. Um, but the mall, I like DJing at malls, DJing at malls a lot better because um, they go there for one thing and then they just walk around the whole mall normally. Or well, some people do anyway. But yeah, I find it more fun at malls than at shopping center outlet mall things. But all in all though, I'm gonna chill here. I, I, one part of me says, Blake, go find something to drink because you're definitely gonna regret it if you don't. And then the other part of me says, yeah, just sit here and chill like I've already said, I think. But yeah, I think I am gonna go get something to drink because I am gonna regret it, I already know. My mouth's already getting dry. Are you good, bro? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go get something to drink, come back. So. I was gonna drive around, but then I was like, you know what? I think I've seen some soda machines up here, so I'm just gonna walk up here and see, and hopefully hope they take credit card because I don't have anything smaller than a 20, and I'm not putting $20 in that freaking soda machine. Yep, I was right, right there. And they do take credit card. Woo. All right, so it says make my selection. I'm gonna go with lemonade. Vending, come on, you can do it. I'll get you in there. Got a lemonade. I'm gonna see if I can do another one without swiping my without swiping my card again. So let's see. Make another selection. Oh, a dollar seventy-five for this. Holy crap! Let's do one more. Oh, well, I think we broke it because it says cash only now. Before it didn't say cash only. It gave me my soda or lemonade, but now it won't do anything. <laughs> oh, there, baby. Oh, come on. Let's try it. Update. I think I fixed it. I just push this button a bunch of times, that button a bunch of times, that button a bunch of times, and then you should be good. And then you select what you want. And then it charges you a dollar seventy-five or something crazy. Come on. So it's vending. There we go. We got two lemonades. This should be good. And there's a B over there. Can I get it out of there? All right. We got two lemonades. Make sure it's not going to charge me. Make another selection. No. Okay. So one vended. 
Okay, so I spent $1.75 each for these. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you're thirsty and you want something to drink. So I'm here for four hours, so definitely don't wanna not have anything to drink for four hours. I was gonna get water, but I don't know. Lemonade sound good. I can't make it up, literally. The restroom sign right there, they had freaking sodas in there and it's right next to where I'm at. <laughs> if I just would've knew that, I wouldn't have walked all the way down to the end, but it is what it is. Literally, right there, there's a door. And right there's where I'm at. <laughs> Crazy. This is a better perspective. Store, the door. The door, the store. And I walked all the way down there to the other side <laughs> just to get those sodas when I could have literally went right there, right next door. But yeah, I'm gonna kick it here now until I have to go in and DJ in about 30 minutes until I have to be in there and start. So I'm just gonna kind of kick back, relax until then. All right, it's about that time. So make my way inside, get this DJing on, let's go. All right, y'all, we're done. Got everything packed up right behind me. Then we just gotta load it back up in the car. It was a good time. Not a bad, not a bad four hours. <laughs> but now we got another two hours home. Once I get everything loaded up, I'll pick y'all back up. All right, we're heading out of here. Ran over to the bathroom real quick. I got this two hour drive home and I didn't want to have to stop. So, which I think I might have to actually stop because I think I need to get gas. But all in all though, that's the only thing we have to stop for. I'll be okay with it. But also, I said, I've been saying but a lot also. Also and but. Also, but also. I don't know why I keep doing that. But anyways, when I was walking out of the bathroom, there was a dollar bill hanging out of the freaking vending machine. So I tried to put it in the vending machine because I was going to get a snack anyway. I was thinking about it, you know. They didn't have a credit card reader. Put the dollar in there. Everything said that was a dollar. Clicked it. Wouldn't work. Something else. Clicked it. Wouldn't work. Next thing. Clicked it. Wouldn't work. So I was like, well, hell with this thing. I'm leaving. Anyway, so... We're heading home. I said anyways again. Too many Christmas. The word anyways, but, all right, all right. Okay, everybody. All right, y'all. Like, those words, I use them all the time. I don't know why. But anyways, we did it again. We're heading home. I'll see you guys when we get there. Oh, yeah. Finally made it back to the house. Let's go. On my way back home, I didn't film it, but I picked up some freaking pizza and crazy bread. Actually, I got this thing called Cazone. Uh, crazy Cazone. That's what it was. So I got a crazy Cazone something new at uh, Little Caesars, I've never seen it before, and stuffed crazy bread and regular crazy bread. So, should be pretty good. So here it is. Um, I'm not gonna do a montage, I'm not gonna show you. I'll show you what the pizza looks like, and I'll let you know at the end what it all, how it was. Wow, look at that thing. I was not expecting that, but this is the Cazone. It's supposed to come with sauce, but it didn't come with any sauce, so. It'll be all right, though. We'll figure it out. All right, I'm in a food coma. I ate way too much food. But that calzone, crazy calzone or whatever, it was really good. So, I mean, it was like, I don't even know how to explain it. It, it was kind of like like a crazy bread with the pepperoni pizza with, like, stuffed crust. Like, it was just all mixed together into one. And then I dipped it into the sauce. Whew, next level. It was good definitely would recommend it it had like even mozzarella in it like it, it was weird it had like multiple different cheeses i think i don't know it was really good i should have just got that <laughs> and i would have been good but now i'm overstuffed and i'm like and i'm tired on top of it because it's been a long day and i gotta do it literally all over again tomorrow i gotta go back get up early drive two hours end up setting up dj for four hours Turn around and drive two hours back to the house. Wild. We're also going to Michigan this week. Uh, so, <clears throat> actually, yeah, you guys will probably see the new lottery tickets before you'll see this video. But, um, yeah, we're going to Michigan technically this week. And then I'll be there for two days and then I can come back and do a wedding. So, I'm busy. <laughs> busy busy and then i start full-time bar gig again uh next week at, or the week after now and i think i have another wedding and then it's just like non-stop for like the next like month and a half but whew, gotta make that money you know gotta keep this channel alive gotta keep the builds happy and uh yeah so make sure if you guys are not yet subscribed hit the subscribe for me and give this video a big thumbs up like i always say keep on keeping on don't let anyone bring you down we'll see you tomorrow peace Thank you.